So I just thought I'd make this video uh, to show the progress that we finally got a, a kiln uh, extraction system installed. Um, I'm afraid that the light's not very good in there, but I can move the, uh, the lamp here. At the moment we've been going for over four hours now, nearly into the fifth hour, and we're just approaching 250 degrees. We're doing a bisque firing. And here is the extraction system. It's the Rodder TG170 that you saw before with all the connections that I showed you before. Uh, there's the gas line, but I've got uh, a fan, which I'll show you in a minute. But basically, what this is, is a fire brick, 30, uh, 30 millimeters thick by 30 centimeters square all around. It's held upside down by four bolts, which go through the chimney collar at the top and there's a cowl on top, an anti-down draft, which I'll show you uh, at another time, but I just wanted to do this quick update video to show that we're in business here. Um, the reason being is because the wind is awful outside. It's like the worst day ever to probably start firing. Um, but that, this is vermiculite fire brick and I had a six inch hole drilled in there with a hole saw and then filed it away. It was actually something close to 260 millimeters in the end in order to get the copex through. And then this is the ga this is a gather hood, which has a Jubilee clip and some steel wire just to ensure that if there's any movement from the heat, that if it drops down, this wire will catch it and stop it from falling onto the kiln while we have a chance to reassemble it. Um, there was a slight leak from this one here and it's because these bolts went in very tight but they're certainly supportive um, and all I did was put some of this insulation tape on and inside here underneath the brick is uh, two pieces of wood with a gap in the middle and I put fire brick in that gap and then lined everything with layers of this uh, insulation tape so uh, that, sh that should stop um, the heat from building up in the wood, cutting off the oxygen to it, um, and also to insulate it. And this is like an extra precaution here. As you can hear that wind, the, the boat is getting knocked about quite a lot here. Um, but as you can see, this is a mushroom vent which takes away a lot of heat which used to build up here when we did the test firing and this is what sort of led us to say right we need a proper system put in place and just doing the laundry with the twin tub too um, but this here is just in case there is a build up of heat here I can just turn this on it's a very quick fix this it's going to have a much better permanent system installed but I just flick that and that gives me a nice draft and the draft blows directly up there into that hole and it blows around the sides and allows it to go outside now we can't have the windows and door we can't have I'll turn this off but that just basically makes sure that the air gets moving and doesn't settle and it also blows onto the copex and helps to keep that cool but i can't have the uh, the doors open because it's raining the place would just fill up with water so we're giving it the ultimate test today suck it and see dive in at the deep end that's what pottery is all about really and um, here's i can't really show you the wares because <laughs> the other thing that I did is that when I cut the square out to put the collar plate in uh, the junction for the lights which used to be in here was right underneath it and I cut through the wire so I stripped all that out because it was just in the way you know there was no other place for this to go so I took all the wires out took the lights out and hence why we're using this little table lamp for now until I fix the lighting proper. So we're uh, oh god that wind's awful. So yeah, anyway, that's just a quick update. And 
I'll make a better video and, and show you more of the flu and um, also how this firing got on. I'll make another video probably later after the firing's done. Okay, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.